here today in public trying to raise awareness of inflammatory arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and juvenile idiopathic arthritis. It's a real feature, isn't it? It's a real talking point and I think it gets people interested. It's a good idea to know what's happening to your body, actually. In my life, I never heard about any child can suffer this thing because I always just only, you know, old people can get it. The biggest problem we have is people think arthritis is something that just old people get. Any age can be affected and children as young as two or three right through to 16 can suffer from juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Hot, swollen, tender joints in your fingers or toes or any other joint are not to be ignored. It could be something serious. It could be inflammatory arthritis. It's a good idea because not everyone can get to the hospital or stuff or like, like for me today finding out something that you didn't know you had that's obviously starting. I found out that I have not got anything significant. Last winter my fingers were starting to hurt so I was quite interested to get them checked out. Having been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis myself five years ago, I, there's not enough information out there. So my friends and family, you know, the amount of times I get, oh yeah, I've got arthritis in my finger or, or you know, osteoarthritis. So it's really important to get the news out there. Today was really fantastic, it was really good. People you know, were involved, they got engaged into what we do, what we say, they listened to us and that was really good. And it is good to make people aware of the facilities out there for them as well. The key message we're trying to get across is the importance of not ignoring what your joints are trying to tell you. It is about getting an early diagnosis. So connect with the National Rheumatoid Arthritis Society and your healthcare professionals. The National Rheumatoid Arthritis Society is the only UK patient-led organisation focusing specifically on rheumatoid arthritis and juvenile idiopathic arthritis. So don't delay, connect today and seek help as soon as possible. Get in touch with the National Rheumatoid Arthritis Society for all the help and information you need every step of the way.